This is Big Brother Eviction number nine, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Now, please welcome your host, Gretel Colleen. A for the Apple Isle and a Tasmanian Devil Reggie. B for the beautiful belly laugh of Chrissy. C for the chord that Patrick can play on the guitar. Yay! And D for the don't you think my hands are soft, Vincent. But of course, tonight is all about who will go. I'll say them quickly, listen carefully. Will it be Chrissy? Yeah. Will it be Patrick? Yeah. Will it be Reggie? Yeah. Well, that's everyone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you think it's Vincent? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, as you know, SMS lines have closed, but there is still time for you to vote, so get those fingers doing all the hard work. Let's go. <laughs> to send Reggie right out, call 1902 55 55 61. To send Patrick packing, call 1902 55 55 63. If you want Vincenzo to go, go, call 1902 55 55 66. Or to send Chrissy back to her pussycat, call 1902 55 55 74. Who will go? I don't know. As usual, all nominees think it's bye-bye house time. So let's pay them a visit right now and feel the vibe. Shh. Hello, house. Hello. 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 All right. Now, nominated. Put your hands up if you're nominated this week. I'll try. Yeah, you are too, Vincent. <laughs> and are you the, you're the king of cool there, Daniel, are you? Ciao. <laughs> How do you... Feel. Do you feel like you really wish you were nominated so you could be part of the family? I'm, I'm missing out. I was, I've, I've, I've been singled out or something. What's happening? <laughs> what happened? They're messing with my mind. <laughs> you were going to be the legend who was nominated every single week. I, I've still got five. I've still got five. Hang I'm on. still the record holder. Are you still the king? Vincenzo is catching up. All right, now let's have a look at you others. You others, that's good English, but never mind. Now, who is absolutely sure they're going tonight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Patrick, yes, if you think you're going, have you said goodbye to everybody? I have, I'll say goodbye and, and I'll see you very soon. Or are you a bit scared about going back into the real world? Um, a little bit scared, but I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends and family, so it should be exciting. And Reggie, you're a bit scared about going back to your old life, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Do you think tonight's the night? Um, I'm, I'm getting nervous now. It's, it's, oh, I don't know, I'm just all a bit funny. <laughs> all right, and what about you, Chrissy? I know that you're a bit nervous about going back to it all. Yeah. Are yeah. you the same person who went into the house two and a bit months I ago? Know. I can't remember anything that happened before I was in here. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so your life began two months ago. That's right. Hence yes. the baby <laughs> hands. <laughs> and what about you, Vincent? What are you feeling? Are you scared, excited? Uh, what do you think yeah, about? All of the above, scared, excited. Is it a new you that would re-enter the world if you were evicted tonight? I don't know. We'll have to see, Gretel. <laughs> oh, sounds exciting. All right. We'll catch up with you all later. OK. OK, bye-bye. Didn't even mean it. OK, well, they're nervous, excited and scared, and no-one wants to put salts in their wounds, even Reggie, who this week salted away a few surprises for some of the housemates. 
this is Big Brother. This week, there are four nominees for eviction. Vincent, Patrick, Chrissy, and Daniel. I'm sorry, that was Regina. <laughs> Funny when Big Brother said Daniel and they went, No, Regina. You fucker! Oh. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Thank you. I had to do a practical joke and I thought, What can I do? And I just, I was so stuck. So with the salt, like, put it in their bed. Oh, that's bad. Oh. And I put a little bit in the milk and swapped the sugar over with the salt and they didn't like it at all. I prefer it with sugar, not salt. You have won the task. Oh, thank God. <laughs> My task was, was, was to play a joke on you. I think they look at me um, as if they sort of don't trust me a bit anymore. Sorry, the f*** is off! Wait, isn't the Milo now because it's got salt in it? Like There's in no salt in the Milo. Oh, good. I thought we just f***ed up 10 kilos of Milo, that's no. all. That was a big waste of Milo. What do you think Milo. I'm that dumb? I mean, I am dumb, but not that dumb. You haven't got much more time left here and try and enjoy every day that you've got. Are you okay? No, not at all. I can tell you look like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to put you in my suitcase and take you home. <laughs> Why can't I leave you? Because you're a strong girl. <laughs> you're a lost cause. Oh, come and help me. I'm just here in this experience and I'm happy to be here in this experience and, and whatever happens, happens. They say little and give away nothing. This week, Patrick won a trip to London, but he behaved like a true have-not. Let's see how the rest of his week treated him. How's it going? Oh, Thank you very much. It's been a very busy and exciting week. I had to write a song with Pat, and he had to play it. No way. And so the prize is for Pat. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh my god, the task is back again. Sometimes you're stuck for things to do here. Oh, you have to ask permission, Pat. Yes, you may. I think I got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. I'll keep out of your way today, man. You want to see bright, happy, shiny Patrick? Oh, I don't think he's going to come out until the task, so I'm afraid. Being a have-not means that you're occupied basically all day. I've never seen you, um... On the broom before. I've been cooking and cleaning for them while you've been sleeping. <laughs> That's what I've been doing, Reggie. But when I do get out, which could be on Sunday, it'd be more of an impact to have the things I haven't had in here. I had a dream last night they put two new housemates in. I'm Anushka. Tonight, one of you will win two return business class flights to London. Wow. To London. Or C, a blue breasted guillemot. C. B. C. Well done. Congratulations. I've decided to take my mum. Imagine me and my mum sitting there in business class. How exciting. Oh, taking off, she gets a bit scared. The longer you stay, the more you find out about yourself. I've sort of realised that 30 really isn't that old. I'm still young, I'm still fit, I'm still having a great time. Then Everyone's the got the same yeah. chance, I think. And, and now? You can't predict it at all. But it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. So I've, I've worked that out again. I can't be wrong three times, that's impossible. <laughs> Coming up, Vincenzo has a go as a have, and Chrissy laughs till she cries. Yes, a gang of four is staring at the door. Only one will walk through, and it's up to you, so phone now. <laughs> Oh my god, the task is back again. How well do I know my housemates? I'm sort of scared going back home. It's, it's not going to be the same. It's my turn.
huge, aren't they? The king prawns. Yeah. They're not baby prawns. They've got legs. Yeah. The prawns walk. No, they swim. How come they've got legs? <laughs> The crowd will let us at the growling, rose petal loving, fish finger shoveling Vincent as he dips his head in the bowl of nomination cream for the fourth time. I'm losing Chindler's smile so much. Oh. Oh, I kind of expected it. People might have targeted me because of the task and stuff, so I wasn't surprised. Why didn't you coffee machine and DVD? I don't know. This is the only two things I want. Someone stand up under my bed. We found salt in various places, our beds. We found three beds desecrated with salt. We had a suspicion that it may have been one of us. She knows, that's her. Reg, why don't you come over here and assault us? Come on, Regina, spit it out. As part of my task. Ah, here we go. We knew it. Last night was good because it was unexpected. I could have done without it. <laughs> cream in my hair and my eyes and in my ears. Vincent was seen to shovel the fish fingers with his entire face. Almost got it, but violated. Oh, Vincent's disqualified oh. for shoveling. It's nice to have a new person with new experiences to be injected into the dynamic. This is Australian beer created in the Big Brother house. I made this with sacks. I'm a little bit frightened. All the best bits of us have all come out in the open. So you kind of need something from the outside to sort of get us all going again. It happened when we had Kimmy and Jamie, and now it's happening again with Nushka. Good night, darling. I've got a kiss. I've got a kiss. And I still... I'll get kisses. I try to make a point of enjoying all the days while it lasts, because it could happen any Sunday when I might not be here. Now, Chrissy has gone from a non-nominated lackey to the lap of nominated luxury in just one week. So does she want her cat back on her lap or is she perf? I can't do a perfectly happy where she is. I wasn't surprised because it's so hard to nominate people, so I knew it was going to happen. If one girl's going to go, it's me, let's face it. You don't know, Chrissy. Yeah, you do. And I heard a cameraman or somebody say, I know you like large women. People are going to make comments all the time, but it's just, I don't want to hear it in here. It's pretty shocking, but it's all right now. I'm in here for another four days or something at minimum, and I can't um, let that affect me. I want to do, like, a cross-stitch. You know how you get the piece of fabric and you've got a ring around it? And you... you are bored, aren't you? Yeah. I just wish it was back to how it was. I really miss the loud ones that I was just goofy with. Big house and lots of people and honey. <laughs> <laughs> now we've even got stuff like a nushka that we could never have planned. Oh my god, it's a person! <laughs> Me and Reggie are just like, I can't believe we're here for all this, it's so cool. I tasted it and it was definitely salt. I immediately thought it was Reggie or Pat. Regina. Regina Jennifer. It was funny, but the boys seem to take it really seriously. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there with the boys. I'm sorry. Oh, Dan. Chrissy, you going? You're going to wet your pants. I just find him so funny and interesting. I just <laughs> love it. It's all 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I'm really glad that he's here. I'm glad I can be a source of so much joy oh for you. Oh, my God. I'm just so gobsmacked that I've made it to the beginning of the 11th week. That's just crazy. There's no sense of loss or, you know, being ripped off or anything. Like, if I go, then I go, and that's just the best outcome. It's so cool, so I'm excited about it. Nominees. And you know, over in the house now, I am informed that Reggie has burst into tears because she's sure that she is going tonight. And Vincent has apologised to everybody for anything he may have ever done. That's the sort of thing I do after parties. OK. Now, <laughs> as if nomination, salt in the sugar and the haves and have-nots task weren't enough to cope with, 
Pommy party girl Anushka Babushka has been steaming and stirring in the spa. So let's have a quick chat with her now. Hello, Anushka. Hello. How's your head today? <laughs> it's fine. You're a bit, bit sick yesterday, weren't you? Oh my goodness, you have no idea. And you had a few regrets? You thought your boyfriend might have dumped you after Friday night's party? Um, oh my, you have no, I, you have no idea how, how sick I feel when I think about Friday night. Not physically sick because of the alcohol, but sick because of my behaviour. Do you want to tell us what you did? Uh, <laughs> I think you know. Please don't let me relive the pain again. <laughs> Do you really think your boyfriend of just... It's only a few short weeks you've actually been boyfriend and girlfriend, mm. isn't it? Mm. Maybe it'll make him love you more. I don't know. Well, don't forget, he is over the other side of the world. Yeah. Just... That means he won't see me doing, doing this, feeling so gutted. Oh, nothing like being gutted. <laughs> All right. Well, how are you enjoying the people in the house? Um, they're, they're, oh, they're brilliant. They really are brilliant. Now, if you didn't have a boyfriend, would you be particularly attracted to any of the boys? No, not at all. Oh, well, that's flattering. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the girls? What do they like to be with? Oh, I love them. I'm taking Reggie home. She's brilliant. Are you? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put her on stage and I'm going to make her a star because she's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> it is lovely to talk to you. Please don't regret anything. You are a shining star in the house and it's very nice to have you visiting us. <laughs> and we'll catch up with you through the week. See you later, Anushka. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. There she is. Regrets. You cannot have those in the Big Brother house. After the break, some loved ones on the Love Lounge. And, of course, it's last orders in the Big Brother bar for one. Of our four. Talk to Gretel. Mm. Who'd you talk to? Gretel. This oh, is Big Brother. Oh. A housemate will be evicted very soon. Big Brother sounds sexy. Yeah, that's Big Brother. That's Big Big. That's Mr. Big. That's Mr. Big. That's Mr. Big. It does sound big, doesn't it? It does today. He didn't say in a minute. minute. Make sure you dress up because it's well worth it. You could win a fantastic 42-inch LG plasma screen worth over $10,000, just like those on the eviction stage. Now, there are just minutes left to vote. Which one of the four will we show the door? To chuck out Chrissy, call 1902-555-74. To get rid of Regina, call 1902 55 55 61. To give Pat the pat on the shoulder, call 1902 55 55 63. Or to invalidate Vincent, call 1902 55 55 66. Well, joining us now on the Love Lounge, the nearest, dearest, and friendliest of tonight's nominees, please welcome. We have Catherine, Chrissy's older sister. sister. We have Brian, Regina's cousin, Dominic, Patrick's brother, and Mark, Vincent's mate. OK. Now, I should point out, just out of interest, that when someone goes into the house, they write down the five people who are very important in their lives, and hence the rotation we get, 
because the people who come to visit are one of those five on the list, right? Now, you are one of those five on the list. Catherine, what do you think of Chrissy in the house? I think she's going beautifully in the house. And is that the sister you know? Yes. I mean, the only thing is she swears a little more than I knew. (laughs) I'm a big sister, so... You think she might be on her best behaviour with you? That laugh of hers is fantastic. Fabulous laugh. And do you think coming up with... Growing up with three sisters helps to make her good in a group? Yeah, I think I think that helps. I think she's got a lot of, um, you know, she relates to everyone really well and a great laugh and great sense of humour and she's really having a great time. But she doesn't seem like the baby in the family. She seems like the mum in the family. Well, yeah, uh, people have said she's like the big sister in the yeah. family. So I think it's interesting that she's our little sister and then she gets a chance to be the other side Be the grown-up. Yeah. Now, what about you, Brian? Reggie's cousin. Yes. very well. Yeah. Do you hang out? Did you used to go yeah, picking apples together? We used to do all these crazy, crazy videos when we were growing up. Um, you know, similar to Kath and Kim, I should say. A bit Kath and Kim, yeah, you're very Kath and Kim. Yeah, very Kath and Kim. Do, are you from Tasmania yourself? Mm-hmm. So you've left Tasmania? Yeah. Because you yeah. live up here now, don't you? Yes, I do, yeah. All right, so Reggie's saying that she's having the time of her life and, and you get the feeling she that she's a different person in the house. Have mm-hmm. you seen her be the way she is? She's exactly the, um, what I grew up with. Exactly, that's Reggie. All right. So when she says she's having the time of her life and she's a bit scared to go back home, can you imagine her going back to her old life? Well, um, I, I would um, be very surprised if she went back to the shop after this. Have you spoken to Adrian? No. Oh, I've spoken to him on the phone, but I, have, I haven't um, spoken to him since, and is he happy? since it's been on. I'm not sure. Well, what did you talk about? The football? No, I think um, he's sort of, uh, you know, awakening to the fact that um, maybe he should, um, uh, you know, it's taken this, but maybe he should um, concentrate on what she wants to do for a change. want to do. It yeah, is a, what they want to do together, yeah. Yeah, it is a very big shock, isn't mm. it, when someone goes into mm. the house. It's a shock for everyone in the family, isn't it, yeah. because you all go along for the ride. And we send lots of love to Adrian, because it can't be easy watching your babe in the house. Now, what are you? What about you, I mean, Dominic? <laughs> Not what are you? What am I? <laughs> well... No, but what's it like watching your babe in the house, that being Patrick? Yeah, uh, initially, it was a bit strange, but we're getting a bit used to it now. It's sort of like he's, he's always in our living rooms every night, so it's, he's always there. Now, you've got... How many brothers in your family? There are six boys, and uh, Patrick's number one. Look, he's the eldest boy, and I'm just the one below it. And there are two now, other is, girls. Is is it true that in your family you vote for best sibling every year? Uh, yeah, Damien, the youngest, votes for the best, the favourite brother, and uh, Patrick always wins it, I'm afraid. He's, he wins, the yeah, favourite brother. He's got the most exciting job and exciting life out of all of us, I think, so um, yeah, he's got it hands down. And after Big Brother, he's going to be favourite for the rest of his life, I think. So. <laughs> Do you get a prize for being the favourite? Oh, no, just the, just the love just and the respect of, uh, of Damien, actually. A scrimmaggio, as, as um, some people know him. Scrimaggio. Scrimaggio. All right, that's very pleasant. I'm sorry, Big Brother has just interrupted me to tell me the lines are closed. Okay. Now, Mark, Vincent's friend. Yes. Do you put rose water petals on your eyes? Not me, no. And what about this Vincent we're seeing? He's a very private <clears throat> person, isn't he? He is, yes. Does he share his secrets with you? Oh, somewhat, yeah. He did. Definitely a lot of secrets and a lot he's kept to himself. Does he ever say, you won't believe what I did last night, mate? Oh, sometimes, yes. Does he? Does he get up to a bit of naughty business? Or does he mean he used a different brand of rose petals? (laughs) I can't say anything. You can't say anything? Well, what are you here for? Tell me. (laughs) Tell me. Did you know Vincent's writing a book? Yes, I did. And he spent five years writing it? He's still writing it, but, yeah, it's a a long plan, a very extensive, long book. Um, I know he's got an outline on his wall. I know a little bit about it, but it's mostly just him keeping it to himself because he wants it to be a surprise. All right, and you tell me, how is Vincent's girlfriend? I don't know anything. (laughs) Well, if that wasn't rehearsed... All right, let me ask you three questions. Yes. Do you know his girlfriend? Yes, I do. Do you know her very well? I know her generally very well, yes. Have you seen her lately? Not lately, no. Is lately within the last two months? Last two months? No. 
Have you heard along the grapevine that she's happy? I can't say. I honestly don't know. I can't believe you. I'm serious. Well, we want her up here with us so that we can welcome her into the Big okay. Brother family. Are you, are you her in disguise? <laughs> you are! You are! Thank you to our guests, to Vincent's girlfriend, Mark, to Dominic, Patrick's brother, Brian, Regina's cousin, and Catherine, Chrissy's big sister. to announce the evictee and I'm holding only a pen. So perhaps we could have this. All right, are we ready? Should I open the envelope now or when we cross to the house? When we cross to the house. Hello, house. Hey, guys. Hi. There they are. All right. Chrissy's clearly about to smother herself with a cushion or squish her face until it pops. <laughs> I don't think that will help. Vincent, you're focusing, <laughs> aren't you? No. Patrick, what are you thinking? I'm scared, Gretel. You're scared. Well, you know I'll give you a cuddle if it's you. Yeah. Oh. Reggie, what are you thinking? Oh, my stomach's just churning. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Is there anything in the house that you think, oh, my goodness, I wish I hadn't done that? Who, me? Yes. Oh, um... Oh, no. <laughs> Anybody got any regrets in the house before we see who's evicted? No. No, no. Vincent, I noticed you didn't answer. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right, I've got the envelope. You got it. Are we ready? It's time to go. Vincent. Oh, oh God. God. Time to rock and roll. Yes, with Big Brother, I have 20 seconds. We're Four, three, three, one. This way, I guess. That's what it feels like. Oh, 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 oh. Sit. Big D, 
I say, God damn. <laughs> it takes a minute. Did you think it would be you coming out yeah. of the house? Yeah. What, was it just an instinct? Oh, it was time, I don't know. It's... Did, you, did you ever have um, the feeling it was going to be you before? Oh, you always think it's you when... when oh, so when there was no instincting. See, girls have instincts nah, about just, these just things. No, just wait for the name, wait for the you name, I waited see. for the name, I waited for the name, I thought, something's wrong, she's not calling my name. And then it's... Then all of a sudden, I've just taken your photo, this is you, in shock, this is your phone. All right, it's all about reconnecting. I'll just give you this to reconnect, 1200 bucks credit on your mobile phone yep. and $1,000 off your home phone or internet bill. So that is pretty cool. You, who's the first person you're going to ring with that? Uh, GF. GF. Oh, who's GF? Girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're wondering if she's here tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Because you've got... I don't know if she's here. Hey, let's settle down. Let's settle down. So, on, you're wondering if your girlfriend is here because yeah. something happened in the house. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's go to that break. While you settle down, I just want to show you there was a funny little story that occurred. One of the things that, of course, you're famous for in the house what? is the magnificent, not just your soft, beautiful skin, the magnificent growl. You haven't felt it, have you? <laughs> let's have a look, the growl. Don't ever think they're not real material. Ah! Number 10, any single female in the entire world. It comes from here, not everyone else. Oh, that's so cool. It's primal, it's animalistic. Lay it on me. <laughs> wow, my dress just popped. <laughs> Come back over here. Now, there's the growl and there's the purr. Oh, I can't do the purr. No, I don't want to do the purr. <laughs> I've got work to do. Now. And there's that. And there's the soft skin. Let's. Ugh. <laughs> Come on. You girl, you've obviously never shoveled a ditch in your life. We'll talk about your soft hands later. Now, you were growling and purring and, and growing to be yourself within the house, and then Belinda left the house, came back in the house, and gave you a message, didn't she, that she wasn't actually allowed to give. And what was that? Do you remember? Stop growling. Stop growling. And you said, who said that? Or something along those lines. And yeah. she gave you the, a letter of the alphabet, didn't actually, she? Actually, it was my sister. She said it was your sister. Yeah. Now, I noticed a change in your behaviour after that. Yes. Where... Oh, well, let's sit as far <laughs> apart as we can. Um, yeah. And you became a little bit more self-conscious. Mm. Are you aware of that? No. Rightio, well, we'll move on then. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Very first. Big Brother, what are we going to look at first? See, one of the interesting things when you were thrown into that house is that there were so many people with big personalities. You told me before you went into the house that you had a bit of a plan. Do you remember what your plan was? No. <laughs> that you were in it to win it? Did I? Okay. Did you have a strategy? Well, the thing is, you walk in and it looked a lot easier on, te on television, but once you start making friends, any strategy you had, out the window. But it was so interesting because they'd clearly never met anyone who held their cards as close to their chest as you do. Let's have a quick look at the impact you had on people in the first few weeks in the house. I reckon on the outside I really like Vincent and I felt that from the beginning. I know, but I'm not going to show you any of my cards. That's just the way. Without revealing anything, like, is she behind you doing this? OK, that's revealing too. OK. But I was his girlfriend who was like that. If I had a real conversation with him and he just put, pulled out like a mental Rubik's Cube, I'd smack him. I've tried to get to know Vincent, but he, thought he doesn't want you to know anything. I can't leave Vincenzo out. He's very um, reserved. He, he does not speak to me like he does to you. He's very know. guarded. Yeah. Oh, tight. Yeah. And I think he, like, he acknowledges that. I don't really give a lot of myself out to a lot of people, only very special ones. It's the way I am. Vincent. 
quiet achiever. Yeah, man of mystery. Yeah. I think he knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. You see, that's all right, isn't it? So far? Yeah, don't be scared. We love you. What are we going to do to you? It's all cool. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the great things, even though you don't really share your emotions, and this is what makes me think you're actually a very emotional guy with a lot of walls up, oh. is the fact that you're actually very compassionate towards others. Now, I know that you're still settling in. We've got lots to talk about after the break, but I just want you to have a look at the role that you played in the house, like being listening and being a listener and caring and, and sharing. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm at my best when things are at their worst with everyone else. Just remember that the mix, the, the mix of people is done by design. We're not supposed to get along with everyone. I spend my time making sure everyone else is all right. This is my little brother. Sick. There was absolutely no positive at all in wasting energy on that issue whatsoever. Big brothers see a lot of things. You don't even have to tell me sometimes and I already know. And you remember this, love has come and go, but friends are forever. Sex and I strongly feel that the housemates that didn't really know what was going on, that shouldn't be penalised for our actions. Do you think I need to chat to Carmel or do you think I'm pretty right? You chat to Carmel, you chat to me. Same. Sure. <laughs> chat to Carmel if you like. Go. There's no dishonour. Because your feelings are so intense, you've got no control over them. Believe me, I've been there. You'll be alright. Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'll look after you, don't worry. It will feel real. It will seem real. But when we step outside, it's done. It'll be a dream. Yeah. Longest dream I've had. The longest dream you've ever had. Yeah, That's Dan, true. Dan said that, and it's so true. Yeah. yeah. What, what did you expect? Why did you go into the house? Oh, just... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I what? thought it'd be like, like, like... I'm not the type of person that sort of warms to a lot of people, so there lies a challenge. Twelve people can't run away, got to face them. And I thought it might be interesting, and my guide it was. And, uh, yeah, I haven't laughed so hard. I haven't felt emotions so vigorously as you do with, within those walls. And I don't think it'll, you'll never get that ever again. Was it a difficult time for you? There were some good times. There were some hard times. Some. Not a lot. Some what? Hard I don't know, times? Where, where are you leading us to? <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> I'm just being nice. I don't know. And then I'm leading to the fact that we're going to talk about love in the house after the break. That's cool. <laughs> We're just going to talk about how love makes the world go round after the break. More from the man who growls like a KG tiger and massages like a playful pussycat, Vincent. Oh no, it's moldy. What have you got? Rose petals. I make rose water. Yeah. And I use it to wash my face. Vincent's got very soft skin. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that's weird. Do you moisturise? No, that's his. That's his hands. Yeah, I got very soft hands. I'm selling your opinion as well. It's all right. This is the only fiction I've had in three weeks. So I get what I can take. Feel his hands. Smooth. I like that, Reggie. Oh. <laughs> you like that? So you know. Soft hands. This is the same skin all over. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to feel the same skin all over. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not going to jump this time? Oh, come on then. show American Pie? That's what it feels like. A soft pie. Okay. All right, now, who were we talking to in the very last bit of that package? Oh, I think we were talking to Joanne. I think we were saying that we had soft skin all over our bodies. Is that the sort of thing that you say to everybody? Mm, no. Is that the sort of thing you say to pretty girls? Mm, no. Is that the sort of thing you just say to Joe? Mm, maybe. Now, Joe 
really pushed your buttons, didn't she? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they knew the Joe that we knew. I mean, you can't help but just click with Joe. She's an incredible person. And well, it's not, the only it's not difference that. is that we don't have Joe standing one foot away from us or one metre, but. You know, we're watching you guys 24 hours a day. We get to know people pretty clearly, so I need more <laughs> of an explanation. Oh, I, I don't have the words. Well, I seriously there, don't have the words. For you? For me? Was Joanne the perfect package? Mm, yes. But? But? No, in the way you say. I'm saying it as a compliment, and I'm giving, I'm giving credit where credit's due. Right. Like a nice vase. Is that what you mean? I'm not used to blonde girls speaking Italian better than me. And that really, <laughs> I've never seen it. That's but that's it? not hard either. So yeah, I'm, I know, I'm, your I'm Italian's not that hot. No, it's pathetic. <laughs> it's bad. All right, so tell me, there she was. You saw her, she looks beautiful, she's intelligent. Who is Venus? I don't know who Venus is. Well, why did you say that Joanne was better than Venus? I was giving her a compliment. So that's like saying you're better than the pillow? No. <laughs> Do you know the Venus story? Well, I know of a Venus, but I thought maybe you went to Rome and you met a woman called Venus. No, no I never met a, I never met her. It's just a, myth, a mythological name for someone that was All really right. beautiful about five, six, maybe now, eight years ago. After you chatted with Joanne, yeah. you then had a regret because you felt like maybe you'd given a little bit of yourself away, a bit maybe. too much, because maybe. of course you have a girlfriend. That's correct. How do you feel about that now? Did you give too much away? Mm, not really. I was giving credit. Where credit's due, due, but not in the way that you're trying to portray me as. Can I just tell you one thing? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm talking with you, Vincent. Mm. I know you hate to be out of control, mm -hmm. but I'm running the interview. I understand. <laughs> I, let me just tell you, if there's a big fan club for you, it is all of us. We think you're great. You've been in the show. We've got to talk about it. Let's have a look at you and Joanne in the house. I've only known you like 24 hours. Yeah. I can't believe how close you can feel with people in 24 hours. You're a blonde boy, aren't you? No, I'm just beauty in its own form. You know when you get that tight feeling in your chest? Yeah. It disappeared. And I think it happened when you said, hi, I'm Joe. Does he want to, like, sit any closer to the edge of that stuff? There's nothing she can do. Oh, I wouldn't come near me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I've definitely met someone who supersedes Venus. Who? Hey. Get out. Vincent's got a big fat crush on you. Vince is swinging from wherever Fabio can swing. Joe, you are, without a doubt, the perfect package. Uh. Is Joanne your type of girl? I only say this once, right? But sometimes I still lose my breath when she looks at me. I only say it once. Mm -hmm. God, 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 God. What's that? Tell me. Just, it's personal, it's not for 19.6 million people. I'm glad you're here. Thanks, I'm glad you're here. Now? Go. I think your girlfriend is very lucky. I'll tell you why. I think you clearly, you can lean towards me. I think that you clearly appreciate women. I think you clearly found Joe attractive in the house. I know that you don't like sharing your emotions, but it was a brave thing that you did. I think that your girlfriend is a lucky, lucky girl. And I'll tell you what, I think Anushka Poor girl, after partying with you on Friday night, where well, you showed incredible restraint, and she's now wondering if her boyfriend <laughs> still wants to be with her. I didn't do anything. I know you didn't do anything. Let's have a look at you not doing anything. Let's have oh, a look. No. <laughs> Brazil. Yes. Canada. Yes. Denmark. Yes. Um, Egypt. Yes. France. Yes. <laughs> Germany. Korea. L. L. Rockland. <laughs> I was up to T. I was up to T. Miss, you went to the end. I was up to T. 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 I was
celebrate you showed. The game, of course, requires you to go through the alphabet and say a country for each letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And you succeeded despite those enormous distractions. Mm -hmm. Well done. Let's have a look. Let's have a cheer for Vince. I mean, honestly, you're a great bloke. And now, after the break, Vincent will be back with the famous Big Brother 10 questions. But let's have a look at his fabulous time in house. Vincent, not Vince. Oh, Vince. sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. Did it ever occur to you that as long as your body can prove you got to move it? Yeah. 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 We like to create. Yeah. As satisfied as one can be sitting on a deck doing fishing in a goddamn pool. This is the only item with everybody's signature, including the international BB person and Anushka. Claire's um, tattoo. Japanese tattoo. Fantastic. All, all right. And who is your charity? Uh, it's Christopher Reeve Paralysis, Paralysis Foundation. Fantastic. <laughs> do you have any particular association with them or uh, you just like what I they am, do? Uh, it may be controversial, but I'm a believer in the stem cell. Research. Believer in stem cell research. Fair okay. enough. All right. So you can bid it on that shirt at our website, bigbrother.optus.com.au. As always, we are running over, and there's so much we want to talk to you about. Let's have a quick look. Tomorrow night, we'll see who nominated you okay. on our nom show, no, but let's have a boring. quick look at the voting graph. Let's have a look. <laughs> ah, 20% to someone, 62% to Vincent, 8% someone else, and 10% someone else. Not bad. And of course, we can't really reveal who those someone else's are, or is because it's too close to the finish line, isn't it? Yes. Too close to the finish line. All right, we have some fabulous prizes for you. Would you like to have a look? Yeah. All right, over here. Yes, tonight we're giving Vincent a MasterCard with $2,000 spending money on it. MasterCard, no other card is more accepted. Plus, a fantastic week's island holiday for two, courtesy of Kentucky Resorts, Great Keppel Island and STA Travel. And from Sony Home Entertainment, the PS2, which you can play all the best games on, and it's also a DVD and CD player. So, that's pretty cool. Here you are, MasterCard. You. There is your very own credit card. And you, my man, are the first person in the country to receive the Big Brother Unseen, Uncut, Unreal DVD. Oh, I know! Which is out in the shops on Wednesday. Do not miss that one. OK, you ready? Ten questions. You've got to do it quickly. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Losing Carlo. Losing Carlo. Who did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Equally Carlo and Sax. No, I think it means people outside the house. Oh, outside the house. Um, yeah, GF. Girlfriend. Does she have a name? Yes. What is her name? Jeff. Are you going to ask her to marry you as soon as you leave the house, like now? Uh, that's classified. That's one of the questions. And Who? her name is Danielle. Danielle. Hello, Danielle. <laughs> Who is your favourite person in the house? Oh, uh, Carlo Sex Joe, all three. Okay. Who is your least favourite person? Can't answer that one. Yes, you can. Vincent. <laughs> annoying habit, what was it? <laughs> Carlo. 
And what was his habit? His flatulence. His flatulence. Who was the funniest person in the house? Carlo. God, he's really imprinted on your mind, isn't he? Who was the laziest person in the house? Me. Oh, what was your greatest regret in the house? Come on, we've been watching you. You can't kid us. Uh, letting my guard down a few too many times. Well, we're glad you let your guard down because that's what going into the Big Brother house yeah. is all about, yeah. being you. Very proud. Who will be out next week? Patrick. Patrick, who do you think will win? Dan. Dan. All right. We have some special loved ones here for you. Let's bring the loved ones on for a big kiss and cuddle. Hey. OK. <laughs> and as usual... How you doing? <laughs> We should probably carry on, shouldn't we, Big Brother, because we're way over time. Four housemates left. This week is the beginning of the end. We've only got one more nomination night and one more eviction until we are down to the three. And then it'll be down to the final three who will then sweat it out with their eyes on that fabulous $250,000 prize. So do not miss a thing. The 7 o'clock daily shows and 7.30 tomorrow night. Join me for the final nomination show. I'm going to clean. This is Big Brother. Big thank you to Vincent. Thanks to you all. The finish line is already in sight and we are still building up speed. Program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.